Hey guys, well, go on, welcome back to the channel. So we have this Honda Accord. Even though these are not the correct rim that come on this car, but they stole the rim and the owner decided to buy this kind of rim to put on the car. So how can we say it's an upgrade? But one of the lug nut is broken, so this video will be on how to change your lug nut so let's get started so actually it's not a lug nut it's a lug studs so, yeah. so you want to get the wheel off the ground if you have a lift use a lift if you have a jack just use a jack and if you use a jack put the jack stand underneath the car so you can use a it should be 19 or 21 but go ahead and use the lug tool that come with your car or use a 19 or 21 millimeter Get that off. So it looked like somebody being near before because this missing a bolt that goes right here, a screw that goes right here to hold the to hold the brake. So what we gotta do, we gotta take off the rotor. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these two. It look like 17 millimeter. So we have one right here, one at the top right there. So let's do that. So 17 millimeter. Here are screw to screw in here for yours to come off because somebody been here. To get it off this is what it's gonna look like as you see and then we can just knock this out with a hammer because that's the one that's broken so as you see just a simple knock and it will come out so you want to get your new one and run it through here and what I like to do is just put like a big nut over it and then screw it down 
so let me show you what I'm talking about so guys you want it to go flush in like the others so you gotta get a big nut that's bigger than the actual size so this is like a, a neat little trick to bring it in so once you do this So once you tighten once you tighten this then this will go in So once you do that it's going to go in So once you screw it, you can look on the side and you can see that it, it goes in. And that's what we need. All right, so let's go ahead and put on the rotor, put it back together. Oh, I know some of you guys are gonna complain. Oh, you hang the rotors. But the rotor is not hanging on the holes, it's free. The rotor is hanging on the cable for the emergency brake. And it's a light rotor, so it's not going to do anything. So let's go ahead and put this back on. This whole line up with this. Put back your screw. If you have it, if you don't have it, it's not a big deal. There you go. kind of actually harder to go on as you see I was, I was fighting it to take it off so we're gonna get the it's 14 it looked like 12 so we're gonna get a 12 all right so once you get that off you can go ahead and put this on by itself Tighten up time. So you wanna put this on back just like that and catch back your your bolts and the same way you loose it with the the, the 17 millimeter and the 12 millimeter that's why you gotta tighten it back alright so that's it guys what you want to do is double check your work make sure you put the studs in that you're actually going to put in i don't remember which one i put in i think it's this one but whatever it's in make sure you tighten up your brakes make sure everything is nice and tight and then you don't need me to show you how to put on a tire right so i won't show that all right all right stop crying i'm gonna put it on for you guys When you tighten in the tire, you want to go at a cross pattern like bomb, 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 bomb. All right, that's how you put on the tire, guys. Peace out, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. See you next time.